What's up everyone, DSP here. Uh, just doing a really quick video to let everyone know uh, a little bit about what happened in the previous set of videos that you just watched of uh, Evil Lee against Mike Ross. Evil Lee had come over my house to attempt to play in the, the finals of this New Age Wanfest tournament for Street Fighter IV, uh, an online tournament. And the reason he wanted to come over is he wanted me to record the videos and get them on YouTube. And obviously, you know, with my TV, my equipment, it's a lot easier to do it from my place. And when he ended up playing Mike Ross, it ends up the connection was really bad. We didn't know what was going on. Uh, he couldn't do reversal uppercuts. It was almost like slow motion. So after that match, we didn't record this, but we actually jumped online and played a couple more matches, and it was just as bad. So I actually ended up turning everything off. I turned off every computer in my condo. Everything was off in this place besides the 360. We went back online. It was a little bit better, but it still wasn't great. We couldn't even get like any better than a yellow connection. We couldn't even find anyone who was a green connection. So we don't know what was going on. So Ryan eventually made the decision. He said, look, I still got to play now a match in losers finals. Then I'm, if I win, I have to go to grand finals. I have to make sure I'm playing on the absolute best connection. So Ryan made the decision to go home, which to be honest, hey, that's the best decision you can make. If you think you have a better connection at home, go home and play online. Absolutely. So he did. And when he got home, he found out his next match was going to be against Mad Booface. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with him, he's a player from the Chicago area uh, of the USA. And he's well known, you know, in the Street Fighter scene, played games for years, was really good, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 series. And he's, you know, getting into Street Fighter 4 pretty good at it. And uh, played him in the Losers Finals. Apparently, Mad Booface went ahead and used Sea Viper, who actually Ryan feels he has a slight weakness against. He hasn't had a lot of experience against Sea Viper. He said it was a close match, but actually. Evilly ended up winning that match and went on to the grand finals again against Mike Ross. And I'm pleased to announce that uh, Evilly went ahead and fought him, first of all, in the first set. Because the way that a tournament works is if you lose, then you go to the loser's bracket. And if you do get to the grand finals, you have to beat that person who's in the grand finals twice because you've lost and he has not lost yet. So Ryan had to beat Mike Ross two complete sets. So the first set, Mike Ross picked Honda, and of course Ryan picked Sagat, or Sagat, his you know, best character. And Ryan said that the first round he got perfected by Mike Ross, but the connection seemed a hell of a lot better than it was over here. And uh, after that first game, he started picking up the things that Mike Ross was doing suddenly realized, hey, what the hell, this connection is way better than it was at Phil's place. And he was able to do reversal dragon punches, he was able to do all his moves, and he ended up winning that first set 2-0 against Mike Ross. So now it reset, it was the final set, and basically either Mike Ross or Ryan had to win two games in order to win the entire tournament. And from what I'm to hear, Mike Ross decided to try to counterpick uh, he picked a couple different characters. I believe one of them was Blanca. I think he had picked someone else as well. I can't remember off the top of my head who he said he picked. But basically, he tried to counterpick uh, Saget. Well, Ryan, uh, I'm pleased to report Ryan just called me and said, Look, Phil, guess what? I just won the whole tournament. I just beat Mike Ross four straight. I won. And he's very happy. He's very pleased. Uh, he's a little disappointed that when he was over here, the match that he played against Mike Ross was so laggy. But this kind of brings to light some stuff. You know, a lot of people have said, Oh, Phil, you complain about lag, yada, yada, yada. Seems like, for some reason, my connection for Street Fighter 4 is pretty fucking shitty. Because Ryan says he's been playing at his place with not a lot of lag problems. He says there have been some bad connections, but overall, at least he can do reactions on things. I can't do that here. And to be completely honest, before I even moved here and I lived in a different town in Connecticut, I had the same problems. It, was always, it always seemed way laggier than what other people were telling me the experience was. So I don't know if it's my ISP. I don't know if it's because now I live in a condo and obviously if there's... 300 people living in this condo facility and we're all using Optimum, we're all using the same lines. You know, I have Optimum online, which is from a cable vision internet service. Uh, maybe it's, it's degrading the value of the internet, but it's kind of funny because when I played other games, you've seen me play Left 4 Dead since I moved, you've seen me play other games online, and I never had an issue. And even back at, you know, my old place where I used to live, when I shared my internet with, you know, my parents and the other people in the neighborhood who were right next to me, I never had problems. It was only Street Fighter 4. So I don't know if it's the nature of the netcode, if it's just that Street Fighter 4 takes more bandwidth than any other game online, I have no clue. But I don't know. For me, at least now you can see my perspective from when I've been trying to play Street Fighter 4 online. It's been fucking horrible. You're not just hearing it from me now. You're hearing it from someone else who apparently has a better connection at his house. He came over my place and it was god-awful to the point where he had to leave to try to win this fucking tournament. And then it ends up he did win. So I don't know. Maybe it's the internet connection. But all I know is for my intents and purposes, Street Fighter 4 online has sucked balls. I don't know if it's a particular kind of internet, but it's just horrible. And if you ask me and all these people, I get all these challenges daily. Phil, you're going to play this guy, that guy? There's some guy from Empire Arcadia who wants to play you, this blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. 
My connection obviously isn't good enough to play online. You saw me play other people online where the connection was bad. I lost. I'm done with it. There's no reason for me to do it. And when someone else comes in who's really good at the game, who just won a fucking new egg online tournament and says my connection sucks, he wouldn't play here. Obviously, I shouldn't play here. So cut it out. Stop challenging me. I don't give a fuck. If you want to come see me offline sometime at a local tournament or, you know, if there's a big tournament that I happen to be going to and I announce it on my YouTube channel and you want to come play me, that's a different story. And if you beat me, you beat me. Big deal. I'm not going to talk shit. But don't make these ridiculous challenges to me online about, you know, oh, DSP sucks and I'm going to beat him online. He's just going to complain about lag. Because obviously the lag has always been a problem and it was proven today that it is a known problem, at least for me, for where I'm living right now. So anyway, Congratulations, Ryan Evilly. Great job. I heard that you're going to win about a $600 prize, but Newegg hasn't really told him what it's going to be yet for winning this tournament. But congratulations. Uh, you, hu you hung in there. You put up with the bullshit coming over here, and you still had the confidence to go home and, and beat some ass. Very good. Everyone knows Mike Ross, knows he's a great player. A lot of people know Rico Suave. They've already posted on YouTube saying he's one of the best able players in the country. He beat him and beating Matt Buface. I think he's really proving... Uh, Eva Lee, that is, that he's, you know, ready to kind of come out to the tournament scene and hopefully start to hold it down wherever he goes. So, congratulations. And, uh, please, guys, don't ask me for any more Street Fighter 4 online play from my place. Obviously, it's not going to work. Maybe, uh, you know, eventually we'll do something else. But most of the time, all you're going to see from me if you do see, see Street Fighter is offline play because obviously that's all it's worth doing right now. So, thanks for tuning in and uh, see you next time.